Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So in previous video we have created the pixels and I have teach you how you can create the pixels in Facebook Business Manager and integrate in your WordPress or any landing pages you have created so you can track all the users and the interaction from your website. It's just like a Google Analytics but in Facebook. So once we have created the pixels, so now we want to use them in our ads and track our ads audience who are visiting our landing page or our offer page, any type of page we are using, we are running ads on. For that, what we need to do, we just need to go to our ad manager. Okay, so to visit your ad manager, you can use the simple link adsmanager.facebook.com slash ads manager. It will take you directly into your ads manager dashboard. And here, what you need to do. So for example, you can create a new campaign. Or you can integrate your pixel in your previous, in your already like running campaign or your live campaign. It doesn't matter. You can do that. The option and the process and the steps will be same. So I'm just showing you in the previous campaign I have created. These are all in draft. So it doesn't matter if they are live or draft. So what we need to do, we just select this campaign and we hit edit. So we need to be in the edit section of our campaign and we'll go to directly into our ad. So pixels, we cannot set them on the campaign level or ad set level. We need to set them on the ad level. So whatever ads you have created, if you have five ads, 10 ads, or even one ad, you need to go individually in one, we need to go one by one in all your ads and connect your pixels in there. So for that, what we need to do, we need to go back into our business manager and we go into our ad set here and ad set section. So now here we need to connect our pixels first with the page because if we don't connect the pixels, the process will not work. So what we need to do first, we need to assign these pixels to a user who are um, who have access and permission to connect those pixels to in uh, into the ads. So that's a really important step. You need to do this and you need to give the full permission. Okay. So once you do that, assign it and it will be done. And then the important process is connect the asset because you need to connect your pixel to your ad manager. So now we go to connect asset and click assign asset. Here you will see all your ad accounts you have created. So you just need to simply select your ad account which you need to connect and hit add. So now your pixels are connected to your ad manager. You can you will start seeing these pixels in your ad manager. So, so now we'll go back to our ad here and the ad section and we'll scroll down. So currently we don't see any ad here because we are, our pixels were not connected. So what we need to do, we just need to refresh the page. And once we refresh the page, you will start seeing the pixels which you have connected with your ad manager in through your business settings. It will start seeing here. So now we have refreshed our page and our options are available now. What we need to do, just check this section, this option here, website events, and you will see your pixels here which we have created before here s2 and the pixel 32921 and here 32921 so it is automatically connected you just you don't need to do any if you have you can also connect multiple pixels to one ad account so you can track different type of campaigns and store the audience in different pixels so you can also do that that can be done also it's just the same process just create another pixel from here and connect it to the same ad account and then you go back to your ads section here and you will have a drop down here. You can select any pixel you want and you can track audience in different pixels and store their data for later use. So that's it. You just need to go into different ads you have created and keep selecting the same pixel here and publish your campaign. So it will help you store all your audience who are going through your ads to your website or landing page. You can store those audience in Facebook and then later on you can easily go to audience section here and create all your custom audience and retargeting audience and also a lookalike audience through those pixels. So in my next video, I will teach you how you can create the custom audience, lookalike audience and retargeting audience through your pixels and using the data you have stored by the pixels you have created. So. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and turn on the notifications so you will get notified for my next videos. Thank you.